arrest, the detention and expected arraignment of Nairobi Governor Mike Mbuvi Sonko is leaving no doubt that times are changing for a man once considered one of Nairobi's most powerful untouchables. Mike Sonko cut his political teeth in Nairobi's Eastlands where he swept into parliament through a surprise by-election win that saw him position himself as a champion of the poor. And as Sam Gituku reports, it has been a potent concoction of political genius, money, and tragic comedy at the heart of both the rise and the imminent fall of Mike Sonko. Before his surprise win in the Makadara by election of 2010, Little was known of Gideon Mbuvi Kiyoko, a young cash splashing and gold chains donning flashy man, introducing himself as a businessman. When former Makadara MP Ruben Dolo successfully challenged the late Dikwa Thika's election, Sunko put his name into the race on the ticket of Mother Karua's Nak Kenya party. He pegged his chances on his apparently deep pockets in an inclination towards the poor who rewarded him with a lofty nickname, Sunko. So he slang for Lord. Jina Sonko halimanishi utajiri vile watu wanasema. Mimi si tajiri. Mimi nategemea na ile riski kidogo ambayo Mungu amenipea. Sonko won the Makadara seat and stormed parliament like a rude culture shock. His dress code defied parliamentary standing orders and offended the speaker of the house. And it's a matter of dressing, Mr. Speaker. And I'm representing the youth in this house, Mr. Speaker. I think the honorable member should concentrate on his constituents, Mr. Speaker, instead of interfering with me, Mr. Speaker. Honorable Mbubi, you will remain out of the house until such time that you dress properly. Can you go out of the house and come back when you dress properly? Outside Parliament, Mike Sonko rattled party politics going at loggerheads with his party leader, Martha Karua. Sonko deployed his rowdy supporters on Martha Karua's path. <laughs> and Nak Kenya promptly expelled Sonko for indiscipline. Crowds. Rowdy crowds became Sonko's weapon of choice in his subsequent battles. He flooded the Kibera locals with unruly mobs when he appeared to face charges of fraud in November 2010. And his fanatical supporters loved it whenever their man took the law into his own hands and he often did in good political calculation. Then Sonko pulled yet another weapon, his level of education. When the 2013 election came round, Sonko ripped his political capital by running for and winning the Nairobi Senate seat. The poor of the slums were his solid base. To them, Sonko was their provider in good and bad times, such as especially funerals. I have uh, five houses to transport bodies to any part of Kenya from Nairobi. I have ambulances. I have... Uh, fire extinguisher, fire engines, I have garbage uh, collection trucks, I have uh, trucks, tankers to give clean, free water. All the while, no one knew or ever questioned the source of Sonko's money. His lifestyle a complete mystery to many. Here is a man who lives around cash in his homes and offices, surrounds himself with heavily armed security officers, guns, high-end cars, and dressed in glittering clothes and jewelry. It's part of the security measure. We, this is the Al-Shabaab era. We are fighting terror. Terrorism is a global problem. And for his access to the high and mighty, Sonko became a legendary and sometimes embarrassing name dropper. At one time in May 2014, a ministerial operation to demolish houses sitting on government land in South B, Nairobi, was called off after the then senator publicly telephoned President Kenyatta. The call left the then cabinet secretary, Felix Kuske, Festless. Hapa balozi nyumba 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 worth uh, 10 billion US dollars sasa zinaenda kubomolewa. Niko hapo sasa hivi na Kosge waziri. Na 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 ni ni nani anapomoa? Waziri waziri Felix Kosge wa US dollars sasa huyu minister wa agriculture na niko na, na correspondence na yeye ni mwandikia barua akanambia abomoi. Sasa ako hapa wananchi wanapomolewa manyumba akiwa ndani ya US dollars sasa.
In 2017, Sonko's political credit, especially among the populated Nairobi slums, was sufficient to make him unstoppable for the post of governor. He easily swept through the Jubilee nominations before ousting Dr. Evans Kidero and to begin what has so far been a chaotic, structureless reign at City Hall. He pushed out his elected deputy Poli Kapigade, but has refused to replace him. Then his cabinet of CECs is akin to violent roller coaster that often throws its occupants off board and seemingly convinced that observers deem him as incapable of running a modern executive, Sonko switched on his reserve power, sensationalism. Corruption allegations have however interrupted the party after party trail. A chase down the highway to the coast ended in high drama in Voi. A futile scuffle with the police ended with Sonko in handcuffs. <laughs> Screaming in pain at some point, during the frenzied arrest, it was clear Sonko was in unfamiliar territory, overpowered, defeated, and contained. Or just maybe, at least for now. Sam Gitukosri TV.